If you're looking for some seasonal winter decor without it looking too Christmassy or anything like Christmas, then you are in the right place because I am going to be showing you some awesome winter decor that you can make using Dollar Tree supplies that they have out right now. And I can't wait to show you, so let's jump in. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by today. I am going to be showing you some easy and quick DIYs you can do for this winter season. I really love how all of these turned out. I'm starting off here with one of these wooden boxes from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to give it a nice white coat of paint and this is only going to be painted on the bottom of the box because I am going to cover up the sides with something else so I'm just going to go ahead and paint the bottom and let it dry. And then I have here this fabric that you can see it has some snowflakes on it and I did get this from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure they have the same one out this year because I did get this um, maybe about two years back but I'm pretty sure you can find one that you would like to use. Um, so I'm just going to hot glue it down all the way around the edges of my box just to give it a nice little you know simple touch of winter and i'm just gonna keep hot gluing it down if you wanted you could put it down with some mod podge but i thought a hot glue would work as well just fine and it will be a little bit quicker and you know sort of like a little hack just if you want to get it done quickly so now i also want to hot glue down the edges that are sticking up not only because i we do have that excess there but I do want to cover up the edges of the box and just make it cover up a little bit of the inside as well because when we start to um, fill it in you won't see so much of the plain wooden box um, in the end you won't see it at all but you know it'll help with that fabric going over it so you can see here I started adding the frosted little greenery this is from Dollar Tree as well and I'm hot gluing two together and placing it on either side of the box just to give it a nice wintry feel on both sides and I do even add a little bit of berries because I wanted to give it a pop of color it doesn't have any color right now so I thought that would be perfect so in here I want to place down a candle and I had this candle holder that is from Dollar Tree but they have a ton of different ones that you can choose from as well and then I'm taking some scrap fabric that I have so that way I can fill in this box um, just going around that candle holder and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to fill it in on top um, with some Spanish moss and I'm going to hot glue that down in there so that is why I added the fabric so that way we don't use you know too much of the moss and we can just fill it up at the top and cover up all of the fabric little by little just keep placing hot glue down and adding the Spanish moss and this Spanish moss is from Dollar Tree as well I love using moss um, I do think it gives um, DIYs a nice high-end look so I am going to add that in until we don't see any more of that fabric and once that is on there I do also want to add some faux snow because I want to make it look like it's just you know been um, snow has fallen on top of this grass or this moss and so it can tie in with the frosted greenery as well because it does have you know it's frosted so it does have the snow on it so I wanted to add a little bit of the faux snow so I added that and you can find that at Dollar Tree as well so I just did the same thing added hot glue and then just sprinkled on the snow just like that and I did shake up the box so that way that snow could just incorporate in between all of the little crevices of the moss and then I'm gonna go in with the same thing and I'm gonna completely camouflage try to camouflage the candle holder because I don't want that showing um I didn't really like how it looked with it showing so I wanted to have that camouflage inside of that inside of that moss so I'm just adding the moss on it with the snow that was it for this DIY and I love it it turned out absolutely gorgeous it's super simple my friend but I love it this would look great on a mantle or maybe on your dining table setting 
which I really love how it looks on the dining table. You would have to let me know what you think of this DIY and if you would give it a try. So next up my friends I have here this long wooden sign from Dollar Tree. I'm going to give it a nice rough coat of the same white paint. This white paint is ivory white. It's not you know bright bright white. Um, I really like the color. It's just like a creamy white that you know is not too in your face. Um, and I like it. I do have a code if you would like to have some money off if you would like to check out that paint I will leave that in my description box below and as well as the background paper that you see there that is wrapping paper And I'm just using it for the background in my video here But um, it is some very nice custom wrapping paper in case you want to check that out too I will have that in the description box below but now I'm just taking some of Dollar Tree stickers and I'm going to spell out the word um, hello because I want this to be a welcome sign for, you know, your entryway or something like that. So I'm just going to place them down, but I'm not going to press them all the way down just yet. I want to make sure that they're nice and centered and then I will go ahead and press them down so that way you know if they're still a little bit lifted up we can maneuver with them and move them if they need to be moved once they are on there and they're nice and evened out i am going to go in with a nice layer of mod podge because that's just going to make sure that the stickers are going to stay in place and not come up and it will stay for long term so i just go ahead and i add a nice layer and let that dry really well so my friends i thought that i would let you know that this might be my last video until next year because i would like to take a little break just to you know spend the holidays and really focus on spending time with my family and stuff like that so my next video will be on january 4th next thursday um well in two weeks in two weeks after this thursday um that is january 4th that would be my next video um you know just to like i said spend time with my family and just enjoy the holidays and i'm pretty sure you all are going to do the same thing and um you know so just thought i would let you know that but anyway in my diy now i am adding some of this very pretty blue ribbon because it just reminds me of winter and you know frosty and all that type of stuff with the blue and i added there and you can see i also added one of those stickers from dollar tree they do come in this blue color pack and the black ones as you saw there and i really like them to me this one that i added kind of looks like snow that's falling inside of it so that is why i added that one there um and then i'm adding some of that frosted greenery at the top along with a snowflake um at the very top just so you know it won't have that empty space up there and then i have these really pretty glittery stems i'm gonna just clip them off um little pieces off of it because i don't want a whole bunch i just want little pieces so i can add in between the frosted greenery um just so i can give it a nice little pop of color and some of that glitter for the winter decor so you can see how pretty it's looking right there and then i decided to go in with this gold paint marker because i'm gonna trace over all of the edges of this sign and this is just gonna pop out that gold that i added for the stems at the top and i really think that this did just that and it gave it that extra look that i was looking for and made the entire sign pop out and you don't have to use gold if you don't want you can use black or even blue to bring out the ribbon but you can see how pretty it looks and i love it you can hang this in your entryway as i said um and it's very easy to make you would have to let me know what you think my friend and if you're enjoying this video so far do give it a big thumbs up for me it does help out my channel and to help it grow and reach new viewers i would highly appreciate it moving along to the final diy for today i'm gonna be taking one of these dollar tree 
frames it has the glass here i don't have the back so i'm going to create the own backing for it um but i do want to add this paper that looks like a shiplap background before i add that in i do have these little wooden circle pieces you can find these at either hobby lobby or dollar tree and they're scrap wood pieces that come in a pack um i'm just adding some mod podge down because i do want to cover them in this nice peppermint ish looking fabric and this is from dollar tree i want to cover them up so that they look like little candies so i'm going to do that to both of them and just let the mod podge dry over it um and you can see that i did uh add mod podge to the back of them and i did fold over over the fabric so that way it can cover the back as well but i didn't do that to the other one is just to show you um that you can do that but i didn't do it because you're not gonna see the back of them anyway once we place them inside so once the fabric was on we do have to cut off the excess and i just used my scissors for this just to get a nice clean um and sharp cut but if you have a fabric cutter you can use that as well i do want to hang them using some string and i decided to go with thread this black thread because i didn't want the string to be you know so thick and bulky i just wanted it to be hanging and not be so in your face so i just decided to use the thread to hang them and you can see i just hot glued it to the back of the wood circle and then I am hot gluing it to the top of my frame because I want them to hang once you look at the frame from the front. I want them to look like they're hanging. So I thought that was really cute and adorable. You can see I'm adding two of them here. And I do end up adding a little one in the middle. Um, so now I'm going to add the paper inside and I'm just uh, tracing it. But that's not the correct size. You would want to trace the inside glass and it would be the perfect size but i didn't think about it while i was cutting it so that's fine i'm just going to cut it down to the size and then we could place the paper right inside and i'm not sure what happened afterwards i think my phone died so it didn't record when i added some faux snow along with a bow using the same fabric as the candies and a little bit of those golden picks as you can see here i just made it look a little bit more wintry and frosty and it looks really cute and adorable and i love how easy this was to make and how adorable it looks you would have to let me know what you think and if you like this diy hello my friend thank you so much for tuning into today's video and spending some time with me if you enjoyed today's diys don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and help me reach new viewers you guys i appreciate you all once again for your love and support and i hope that you all have a wonderful holiday and a safe and blessed holiday whether it's with your family your loved ones or you're spending it alone i am sending you my love and i will see you all next year i hope you have a great and fun happy new year i am gonna come back on january 4th so make sure you set your notifications so you can be you know um in the loop of when i'm gonna post my first video of 2024 you do not want to miss it i will see you all on the next one bye